line uh, called the Milwaukee Railroad. Uh, Milwaukee Railroad was uh, a line that uh, started west of here around, I forget where, Miles City, Forsyth, somewhere around there. Uh, anyway, the uh, Northern Pacific uh, Railroad uh, brought supplies to build it until the uh, Yellowstone River. Then they floated stuff down the Yellowstone River in order to uh, build the rail line. And then uh, the rail line itself crossed the Yellowstone River about three times. Now the new, the old, the uh, new rail, rail line uh, pretty much hugs the uh, interstate now. But uh, we're going to follow this all the way into um, past Miles City, almost all the way to Forsyth. That bridge doesn't have much much time left, and I think we got two more of these to cross. <laughs> I just came uh, upon this place. This is the um, this is the uh, old Calypso Trail. That's uh, headed west uh, towards Miles City, and then uh, this is east back towards Terry here, and then the Yellowstone River just right down here, um, and what's called the Terry Badlands, right uh, behind me here to the northwest. But what's significant about this place is that uh, after uh, Lewis and Clark, yep, well, back up. So, you know, Thomas Jefferson, we bought uh, Louisiana Purchase in 1803, and he assigned uh, Meriwether Lewis to uh, explore the whole land. Meriwether Lewis had... Um, Clark uh, join him and then eventually they split up so they can uh, um, s explore more. Well, Clark's expedition on June 30th of 1804 or 1806, uh, somewhere around there. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> they landed here on this spot on the north bank of the Yellowstone River right down here. And they said this is the worst spot they've ever seen since the Rockies. <laughs> and it is kind of a barren spot. You know, again, you look at the, the Badlands here. And here along the Yellowstone River, there's not really much vegetation. And there's the old Milwaukee uh, Railroad Bridge we just crossed. But uh, then later on, 70 years later, the uh, Army established a camp here called Powder River Depot. And uh, this was the uh, supply place for riverboats coming up to supply the army in their campaigns against the uh, Indians who, gee, unsurprisingly, didn't want to get relocated to uh, reservations. Uh, so a lot of history right here. And uh, there was actually a town of Calypso that was right around here. It's no longer here, but it had school and had some businesses going on. And now, just like so much stuff in the West, poof, it's just vanished into the wind. So uh, we can actually drive this Calypso Trail, but it's pretty rough. And I'd rather go 30 instead of 15. So 15 miles an hour on here or 30 miles an hour on the uh, Milwaukee Road. Let's take the railroad. Although this is tempting. Uh-oh. Looks like we got a little problem up ahead. Let's take a look and see. Well, looks okay to me. 
Oh, hi guys. What do you think? Just move the barrier and <laughs> go across? Eh, yeah, maybe not. What do you guys think? Should I go across or should I go through the go through the creek? You don't know? How about you guys over there? Yeah? Go around, is that what you said? Yeah? <laughs> what do you say? He's probably saying, I dare you to come over here. Hmm. Well, looks like there's a little detour that goes across and crosses that creek. Maybe we won't get stuck. Okay, you guys, don't laugh at me if we get stuck, all right? Just trying to get somewhere. <laughs> Catch you on the other side. Well, I didn't walk this other s alternate route here, but I looked on the uh, overhead map. Take a look here. Looks like it's doable as long as there's not much water in there. If we get stuck, I guess we got a camping spot for tonight. Oh. You can come over and watch, see if we make it. Come on over. Gonna put it on a show for you. Oh, not bad at all. No water. Piece of cake. And now that's funny, if we were coming the other way, there's nothing blocking off this end of the bridge. We'd have got, probably would have gotten to the middle of it and kapunk! Oh well, we would have dropped in and had a party of cows. starts but I'm getting one of my later endings uh, make a note to self when you're driving over a hundred miles of dirt roads in a day <laughs> it's gonna take you a little bit longer 
and the weather's going to try and change tomorrow. There's a 50% chance of rain later tomorrow. So, on this trip across Montana on dirt roads, tomorrow might be the last day we can do it. We'll see how the rain goes. That was a long day. <clears throat> so, made it to this place called Rosebud Creek Fishing Access Area. Somebody else back over that way, so I just figured I'd take the first sight here. But here it is, Rosebud Creek. Actually, Rosebud Creek Pond, I suppose. Um, there was somebody over at the other end there. And they had a fire, so I figured, nah, I'm not going to bother them. So, but look how crystal clear this is. Nice reflections. And uh, this time of year, don't have to worry about the mosquitoes. So, that's why this is an okay place. Oh, speaking of which, I think I just got one. Uh, maybe we'll see some uh, turkeys or something tonight or tomorrow or some deer maybe So kind of quiet little place the interstate and the Yellowstone rivers over there, but it's good for the night and let's See what the weather does, huh? <laughs> Howdy need a ride into town you heading my way going the other way. Don't know? Alright. Well, see you around. <laughs> 